What are your thoughts on GHX and how to buy? Mm, let me look. Go to another one real quick and I'll come back to that one. Okay, no problem. Then we got Alberto with the $5 Canadian. Any advice on going full-time into crypto? And any advice on how to recover from this loss I just took? Still have 60% of my portfolio in tech. Well, in terms of going, I mean, you you, you, ba you basically have to, if you're going full-time crypto, you'd have to, you're, I mean, it's look. So you're asking me like how to recover the loss, this this loss I'm just took. I have sixty percent. So I mean, you're in a position where you're not making money for your portfolio. So how are you going to go full time crypto? Just I'm being really honest here because if you're, I mean, if you're going full time crypto and that means like you're like you're just going to live off your portfolio or you're trading and stuff like that, your portfolio has to be to a certain size where like you're it's kicking off either dividends in terms of the yield farming or you're able to sell off portions of the portfolio off in order to like or you'd have to have save like basically if you're in full-time crypto you have to have enough savings where you don't care to sell the portfolio off or you can yield farm enough of it off or like whatever little income it produces is enough to like sustain your lifestyle if not you, you either become a youtuber full-time and that's going to suck to in the beginning because you're going to have no views at all and it's, it's just tough like now is like now and during the bear markets when you actually start this process but it's sort of this whole thing where like you know you're kind of monkey branching like you can't like just leap, like you if you're if, if you're really about it you can leap off fuck it let's just see what happens but you but i will tell you you have to have savings you can't you can't do without and that means you have to have to have profits and because i mean just noting off of this you're saying how do i recover the 60 percent loss you're still learning a lot of stuff about crypto so i would just pump your brakes there bro, buddy you know like at and um you're 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 only down sixty percent. You're more than likely going to have that back pretty soon. That's not that sixty percent isn't that much, right? If you're down ninety nine percent, uh oh. <laughs> but you know we have a nice we have, we have a nice little move and stuff a two x a two x in the whole market and stuff. You're going to be back into profitability, and then as the market continues to go on, you're going to have more and more profit. And then from there is when you have to be careful because you being full time crypto might not be until ne deep into next cycle. Because what you need to do is during the next bear market, so you take profits in this bull run, and during the next bear run, you you still work. Maybe you change jobs. You use that capital that you've taken profits on. You then use that to help your life, advance your life, or maybe get a different job, have a, an income source. Then once the bull run really continues on and you've been able to DCA, then you can leave your job. And as the market goes up, your portfolio will be in bigger size. You'll, you're in a much healthier position. Too many people quit their jobs. One of the things we got a lot of flack for in the last cycle is we told people don't quit their J job. Unless you really, unless your job really sucks and you hate it, or if you've got a minimum wage job, then just change jobs to a better minimum wage job or just get a different type of skill set, right? But um, but if you already like if, if you're if, like you're not gonna escape from it and stuff like that. Like crypto when it rains, it pours, but when it doesn't rain, man, it is a de desolate, desolate, desolate desert. 22 sucked, bro. In 2021, me and Charlie were killing it, bro. Killing it. Everything's going bananas. 2022, we saw the death of everything. Like, I think me and, me and Charlie were one of the few hex. Like, we're, we're, hexagons were like above average in terms of like a lot of hexagons stayed around, but like almost every crypto influencer disappeared. We were hated. I, it wasn't just until recently Instagram started even going even more bananas. Like, I'm telling you, it was really tough. Once things get moving, the main thing for you, Alberto, is to make sure just have a huge next egg. You, um, if you, DM, I mean, I, I don't, I don't want you to tell me, you know, like, you know, I don't, you know, don't say your whole portfolio out, you know, just be careful. But like, but if you, let's just say, uh, as an example, you're down 60%, but you like, you had like $50,000, you know, your portfolio is now only worth 22,000 bucks, right? You, with, with a 22,000 portfolio and you're DCAing right now, the important part is that this is I'm dollar cost crypto. You should be dollar cost averaging still. You still should be adding position. Maybe you're done buying Ethereum, but you're buying a Phantom. You're buying some Solana. You're buying some fucking. Um, you're buying some Pulse Chain, some Ehex, some Phex, some PulseX. You're buying bags right now. These bags at these prices, people are going to be drooling later. We're still under sack price for all of it. We're well below sack price for all the Pulse Chain stuff. We're we're like barely above a penny for for Hex, bros. You know, we're, we're in a great position. We're sub dollar phantom. We're sub $100 Solana. We're sub $100 um, um, uh, AVAX. We're still sub dollar Cardano. 
I'm doing all this off the dome. We're sub everything. Like, like literally everything's, but everyone's like, oh, chase injector protocol or, or we're a Caspa. No one can shut the fuck about Caspa. <laughs> now it's started down a little bit. Now this is where you DCA a little bit now. Like, but Miguel, I thought you buy green candles. No, you buy red or forgotten. 